best used cars under $5,000. Let's take a look at some used cars that you can buy under $5,000. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I'll link them down in the comment section. Before continuing with the video, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and a sub would be amazing. Honda Accord The Accord is one of the best mid-size sedans available even now. It does everything well and is popular for doing so. It may not even be best in class for every little thing, but it is more of an all-round package than its competitors. The new Ford 2006 model is actually very similar to the previous version, but with mild facelift and completely new rear styling. There are two engines, the standard 2.4 liter 4 cylinder engine with a manual or automatic transmission and the optional 3 liter V6 with an automatic only. These popular sedans are great everyday cars with comfort and convenience features. Available optional features include cruise control, power locks, keyless entry, 16 inch or 17 inch alloy wheels, 4 wheel disc brakes with electronic brake force distribution, in dash 6 CD changer, steering wheel audio controls, a leather upholstery, a power glass sunroof side mirrors with integrated turn signals and VSA stability control. Safety is enhanced on all accords by available side impact and curtain airbags, in addition to the required dual front airbags. ABS with EBD comes standard. All V6 models come with vehicle stability assist and brake assist with traction control. Ford Ranger For a cheap workhorse you can park in the city, the previous Ford Ranger is a great buy. Other V pickups from this era like the Toyota Tacoma are more prone to frame rust. The Ranger is basic and frugal. It doesn't need running boards or tailgate steps because it's not even 7 feet tall. It is available in single or extended cab with an inline 4 or big bore V6, automatic or manual. The Asian market Ford Ranger pickup range will appeal to customers who are looking for a work truck which provides versatile usage but are slightly concerned about basic comforts. The Ranger is designed to meet the needs of this customer group while offering exceptional value for money. It is a mid-size pickup based on the Asian Mazda-based truck platform and built in Thailand. It can be had in either rear-wheel drive or four-wheel drive platform. The extensive engine range includes a 2.2-liter petrol engine, a 2.6-liter petrol engine and a 3-liter turbo diesel engine all with a 5-speed manual gearbox. Features include air conditioning, basic radio cassette player, numerous storage spaces inside the cabin, ABS brakes, dual front airbags, 15 inch or 16 inch wheels, available power locks and windows, and decent off road capability due to low range gearing in four wheel drive modules. The Ranger can be had in either two door single cab or four door double cab body styles. Lexus LS Although the Acura Legend was Japan's first luxury vehicle, the Lexus LS was the astronomical shot. Directly targeting the Germans, the LS400 has transformed the world of luxury sedans. Toyota built a V8 specifically for this model, fitted it with a magnificent interior and high quality features and then priced it at $35,000. These were the days when an S-Class began around $50,000. Although the style of the European playbook was drawn, it was well aged. But the Lexus is low and small in today's world of SUVs. As long as the time belt is changed and the starter which is buried in, within the engine is working, the LS400 will fight for years without fail. It's that reliability that will start every time, no fuss, easy to maintain, dependability that made the LS400 and the Lexus brand. The redesigned LS430 is also a great buy for this price and is very well known for its reliability, powerful and refined engine. These cars were way ahead of their time and wouldn't look old compared to the other cars from that era, even seen with today's cars. Mercedes-Benz S-Class At the end of 1991, it was a little bit of a surprise when the W140 S-Class appeared as a 1992 model. Firstly, the car was bigger, heavier and much more advanced. Nor was it inexpensive. A 6-cylinder 300 SE was launched in 1992 dollars for less than $70,000 and the 389 horsepower V12 for over $120,000. You can roughly double these numbers to account for inflation. The two guiding antennas which would emerge from the rear fenders are one such example of the top quality of this vehicle. The antenna-like bars would tend to help you see the back of this massive sedan in the days before backup cameras showed us their way. 
It also had doubled breadcrumbs, adjustable dampers and almost dead silence at road speeds. The value of these amazing cars has been diminishing by all the sophistication, complexity and pricey parts. Nonetheless, be wary about the cost of keeping the vehicle. Toyota Sequoia Built in Indiana, the first generation Sequoia is the best of the bunch thanks to its vastly improved drivetrain. Although similar in towing capacity to its Tahoe and Expedition competitors which is 6,500 pounds in two-wheel drive form, the Sequoia offers 10.6 inches of ground clearance. That's the most among the three. To find a 2005 and newer Sequoia for less than $5,000, it might not have the full leather interior found in limited trim models and it might have more than 200,000 miles. But the Sequoia or any other Toyota or Lexus products doesn't seem to adhere to the laws of aging. Think of it as a new car that comes with the 15 years and 200,000 miles of experience. Volvo S70 There is no safer, better built cars on this list. Mechanically, the S70 is identical to the 1993 A50, but the cosmetic changes softened the car's 1980s era edges to make it feel fresh 20 years on. Go ahead and feel the lower dashboard and door trim of a brand new Toyota. Now feel the same surfaces in the S70. They are all soft and padded, even on the glove box. Remember, in 1998, this was the one of the cars with side impact airbags and seats that mitigate whiplash. This being an older Swedish car, the S70's cabin heater is its strongest and fastest moving part. Sure, a few things might not work, but for reliability and resale value, I promise you can't do better. Nissan Pathfinder The Pathfinder is a four-door, five-passenger luxury four-wheel drive and a popular performer. This unit body shape was introduced in 2000 but got the newer 3.5 liter V6 only in 2002. This model range This model range ran till 2005. A 5-speed manual is standard while a 4-speed automatic transmission with overdrive is optional. The manual mated V6 is slightly more powerful than the automatic mated V6. Later models also have an optional package consisting of electronic stability control, ABS brakes, traction control and a tire pressure monitoring system. The top Pathfinder models got 6-poke, 17-inch wheels and a leather interior in the later years, while lower models have 16-inch wheels and a cloth cabin. Exterior paint jobs were two-color for base models and monotone for upper models. Available features include a cassette or CD player, power windows, electric mirrors, sunroof and power front seats among other accessories. This list is in no clear order and it depends on your budget and your interests. If you stuck around till the end, thanks a lot. To me, that means a lot. I will do a whole lot more videos such as this if you like this video in the future. So leave the thumbs up and a sub would be fantastic. Also leave your thoughts down in the comment section. My name is Jitin and I'll catch you in the next one.